Well, hello there, everybody. Dre here, and welcome back to my little mine site in Out of Ore. Today, I think I'm going to be taking a little bit of a break from the lithium vein that we found in the last episode. Uh, yes, we have figured out ways to get this all the way up to my wash plant, but it is not easy in the current stage of the game. I do have some ideas on how I want to extract this and transfer it, but as it currently sits, honestly, I'm probably losing money trying to transfer it up this mountain uh, by vehicles just because they're not powerful enough to get up this hill. What I truly want to do today is actually build a legit wash plant. Because so far in this game, all I've been doing is dropping rock simply into the grates here and hoping for the best. I want to see if we can just mine as much as possible, as quickly as possible, and have an automated wash plant system that will drop it in. We're not going to earn as much money because it's not worth as much, uh, but it is actually probably the most interesting part of this game so far. Uh, because if you actually look at this, you start off with solid rock, which has a value of 32. If you put it through a ripper, you can get blasted rock. Then you can put said blast rock through a jaw crusher to get crushed rock then you can put that rock through a cone crusher to get gravel so there is different stages of gravel in this game and i think it'd be really fun to try and set up a system for that because it's definitely the most difficult thing in this game so far some of this rare stuff you can simply just drop it in and earn lots and lots of money uh, I don't really care about money in this game. I want to try and build an actual system here uh, and see how we can do. The game's been updated. It's supposed to be more optimized now, which is what I was essentially waiting for. So yeah, now I'm going to see if I can actually build a multiple stage wash plant and see how we can do with it. I have some ideas, uh, but I don't know how it's going to go. I actually need to bring my bulldozer up here. So yeah, I'm just going to transfer some of my vehicles up, the ones that can make it up this hill. Some are legit stuck down here, like the dump truck that is over here. Yeah, not getting up with its current engine so i guess i may as well sell it or just keep it here for when we do come down here later on okay so i'm actually going to build a foundation for this because i do want this to be permanent so uh being that it's not built on dirt we won't have to worry hopefully about as many dirt clumps and whatnot again building in this game is not the easiest yet as you can see i'm kind of really far away but i am getting the hang of it and yeah we're essentially just going to build a massive platform here to put our wash plant on all right we're definitely going to need some more room here being that this is going to be such a long process but uh this is our start i'm going to work from the uh, back to the front just so i know how much room i need obviously if i started on the other side i have no idea how long this thing's going to be and i could overshoot or undershoot it anyways um first of all we have to do the last thing first which is the cone crusher so this might take some time just to get used to but uh what we want to do right now is combine these together and i think that should be good yep all right and then cone crusher will go up top and drop out the good stuff we are definitely gonna have to get some uh, scaffolding here so I can get up because we need to go even higher than that obviously to get the dirt into that uh, this is only one stage though this is gonna look so cool okay so on top of this we want to put a hopper oh wow this is much taller than I thought and then we are going to connect transports or up transports I should say to that Let's see if we can do this from the ground here why is it not snapping now I don't like that I don't like keep snapping please Oh my god, this is gonna take some getting used to. Okay, and there we go. One stage is done and we're at the end of our, well, usable area. So what I think I might... Ooh, this is risky. This is already glitchy enough. All right, so I just want to make sure these are connecting well. And yeah, that's going right in. Whoa. Oh, and it's nighttime. <laughs> I... You know what? Nighttime kind of has to cool out in this game. There is no phasing between daytime and nighttime. So yeah, we're just going to sleep at the top of the conveyor belt. What I, But yeah, what I think I might do is there's left and right conveyors. So I might just wrap it back for the next stage. I mean, I guess technically I didn't need this piece here, but uh, I just wanted it here just to spread it out a bit. All right, so I believe we want to transport right because if we're going this way, it's turning to the right. So I bought a couple of them and yep, that's going to go like that over into that. Oh, that's sick. All right. And then we can just do another right here. Actually, before I do that, let's maybe get some more ground foundations on. The one downside of this is I'm not going to be able to drive to this side of my plant now. I'm going to have to ex essentially extract this or build a roadway around through this. I mean, I guess maybe I could get underneath this. That might actually work. 
Okay, so now we can just build back this way with another process. Uh, so we did the cone crusher. Now we got to do the jaw crusher. Okay, so essentially we are mirroring the other side. Uh, so, ooh, I'm actually, should I flip that the other way? Because we need the hopper up top. And I believe, I believe the hole's on this side. I can't even see up. It's so big. But yeah, it's definitely on this side. So I'm going to flip that around. So it's like that. I think that should be good. Yeah. Is it centered? It looks like they're, you know, nope, that's connected. Okay, so that's perfect. So now dirt will go into this, fall into this conveyor belt, and then go up to that one. So we just need to build the hopper. I should have one of those left. Where did that go? Small hopper. Perfect. That goes up top. Aha. Look at that. Perfect. Okay, so that goes into that. Now we just need to build the incline up. The game is very confused now by how much is going on. It's very hard to connect to the other side of an incline. So how I actually did the other side was just guesstimate the uh, distance that I'm going to need, which is what I think I'm going to have to do again. Again, building could use some work in this game, but let's remember this is uh, a game built by one creator. And I mean, so far it's pretty fun. I think we're off here, but I can always destroy these and try again. Yeah, I'm about one pixel off, unfortunately. Okay, so now we know if we go here, we should be good. So then what I do is just keep that one there to make sure I'm at the right stage. And then destroy that one and put that one up top. Thankfully, if you destroy something, you keep your parts. So um, screwing up like that isn't so bad. Now this should be good. Look at that. Uh, now we need a conveyor at the bottom, obviously. I don't know why I'm calling it conveyor. It's a transport. So if we rotate that, that should be good. All right, there is the two stages fully set up. Uh, again, we have no room here. The one thing I don't really know how it works is the sorting drum. Now, I know in gold mining, you use the sorting drum uh, to get rid of big boulders. Essentially, let me just put this thing out so you can see. The boulders come out the back so you don't uh, destroy your system. And then uh, the actual good stuff comes through the grates here. But what we're doing right now is actually looking for big rocks. So I believe, just judging by the arrows... Um, you actually want this part of the conveyor and the good stuff comes out the right, not the bottom. So with that in mind, uh, at least I think that's how it works, is we're going to have to have this on the conveyor. So what I think I'm just going to do is put the sorting drum this way. I obviously can't build any further this way. So we're going to have a, I think a right or a left. Um, let me actually see. I have some lefts here. I'm confused with rights and lefts, clearly. Oh no, left works. Perfect. Okay, so now we can build the sorting drum, I guess, right here. Now, I don't know if I need a big hopper below the sorting drum, or does it just pile up on the ground? I, I have no idea. Again, this is kind of learning as we go, but overall, I'm really happy with this setup. So yeah, that should go there like that, and hopefully... Does it lift back up or do I need to make this higher? Oh, I don't know. All right, you know what? I'm going to actually destroy this for a second. I want to put more foundations down. And look at that. We actually connected it to the actual helicopter platform. I also love that the developer just used uh, the things we can actually use to build these things. I think he even used it for um, the actual uh, store as well. So it all fits together very, very well. Uh, all right. So that should be more than enough room, I'm thinking. I think what I should do just to play it safe is maybe that. Uh, because it's got to fall out of the sorting drum, right? And I'm thinking it needs to be up a little bit. I don't know. Oh, man, I don't know. All right, what I think I'll actually do is go up the full stage here. Let me get this right. And is this going the right way? No, that's going the wrong way. Okay. Uh, this is getting confusing. <laughs> so like that. Uh, that way it ensures that it's definitely going to make it there. And then I can just build an incline down just to play it safe. And we'll throw a hopper here as well just because we can. So hopper goes into that. So technically we didn't need the left turning one, but I actually like these because they're only one, I'm going to say pixel. It's not a pixel, uh, but one space wide as compared to the two spaces for the uh, long conveyor. So it's actually better for space. Anyways, I'm rambling. Um, let's get one more incline down and then one more flat and we should be good to test this thing. Hopefully it works first try. All right, even if it doesn't work, it sure does look pretty, that's for sure. And that is everything in the current version of the game all combined into one system. So yeah, put the dirt in there, goes up through the sorting drum down here into the first crusher, wraps back around into the second crusher. And then hopefully, if everything goes perfectly, 
we make lots of money by it going into here fully automated uh the fun thing about this is now we can simply just jump dirt from a dump truck over to this from uh different areas like the lithium mine for example and even if we're not crushing rock it still should sell any uh rare ore that goes through the system the same way it's just going to go through all of this as well uh so yeah i'll add scaffolding in a second i just want to make sure it works first before we uh do that in case i have to change this around at all so this dirt is going to be absolutely crap it actually might be zero because it's technically topsoil but it should at least show us if this is indeed working or not so this is merely just a test to see if the system is indeed operational and yeah this is all just junk this might legit be zero dollars okay one, one more thing i want to do i just thought of it um i'm worried that it's going to build a dirt mound here so i'm actually going to buy the big hopper i think i actually own one uh just throwing this below the crusher oh it does go through okay you know what that's not bad though because it's going to actually connect back to the system through the hopper so i don't know <laughs> i mean technically i think this sorting drum is pointless right now because both the bad stuff and the good stuff is going to go through the system i just i don't know the way the hopper is intended for this game again i'm i'm used to gold mining and you want to get rid of the big rocks not keep them but i think for now because we are trying to get crushed rock we want to keep the big rocks as well regardless i mean i think the hopper is pointless or sorry the sorting drum but I mean, it's in the system now just because it looks cool. And I just want to see if it works or not. All right. Well, here we go. Let's test it out. And so far, so good. I'm going to run out and make sure everything is working as intended. I don't like that the drum isn't moving. What is wrong with the drum? So do I, do I have to power it on? I don't have to power on anything else, do I? Okay. So there is actually... You need to turn on everything. Uh, again, I haven't used these yet, so I think both the crushers and the drum need to be turned on so I can jump and do it. That's obviously pretty ghetto, though. Oh, yeah, that makes so much more sense. Okay, so that probably uses fuel then, so that's exciting. Uh, can I turn that off now for the time being? Because I was going to set up scaffolding now because I need to get up there anyways. All right, well, I guess it's just going to stay on. I'm going to set up some scaffolding. I don't know the best way to do this because I need to go to this to that into that so i'm gonna have a whole platform essentially up here i think all right this actually isn't bad because i'll be able to go through the uh hole here so i'm just setting up a simple scaffolding platform with steel that will connect over to that and then we'll just put a walkway uh where my head's not gonna hit probably oh it's probably gonna hit everywhere let's be honest here so i'm gonna expand this out a bit and yeah you know what i have extra materials so i'm just gonna add uh some stairs on this side in case the other side doesn't work all right, and safety first. Gotta have guardrails and everything. <laughs> of course, the last one's confused. Uh, all right, that looks so much better. I now have scaffolding all the way up, and I can simply just go around and connect to everything. So I should be able to, yes, turn it on. Looks like it does have hourly operating costs, so... Uh, running this system is going to cost me money, so we want to make sure we're moving dirt when we do use this. But I think this is indeed everything. This works perfectly. This is majestic. All right, let's try one more time. This time... What the... Where... Whatever. <laughs> Where did... It... it literally vanished. Oh, that was... that's like 36k, man. Those things aren't cheap. Oh, sorry. I thought it was 35. It's 75,000 for one. Oh, there they are. You know what? Did I just buy that accidentally? I think I just sold it. Okay, so I thought I didn't think I had any left. I'm not sure why that deleted, but hey, it's better to have that delete than the whole system, so I am not too mad about that. All right, looks like everything is working. Is there any other randomly missing pieces? I think we're good. I think we are good to finally test this out, and hopefully this time it works. All right, again, this isn't about the money right now. This is literal crap. I just want to see dirt at the end of my wash plant uh extract so be free my dirt particles go forth earn me money now we should see this thing hopefully working yes yes go my dirt <laughs> oh it's so nice when things actually work uh it might take a while hold on don't don't freak out yet all right it's still going through oh no okay 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 some of these things are not showing up but yeah it's going through the crushers take a while. Yes! Yes! Look it, it actually went out. 
Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> my system works. I don't care if I earn nothing. My system is freaking working. And in this game, that's not easy. Now, if I could set up some sort of dump truck system at the back here, that would be great. Because obviously, the goal of this is to bring good dirt to it. We're not going to have good dirt around this all the time. So I need to design some sort of dump truck drop-off system. I have ideas. We'll worry about that later. Uh, let's just put the 2.4 tons went through and I earned $0. Again, I knew this dirt was bad. Hopefully, if we get through this a little bit, we might actually hit some rock. But yeah, this is just literal dirt right now. Uh, I'm just so happy that I have a legit wash plant now. So when the game gets a little bit better, uh, we'll be able to put more dirt through this. This is actually coal over here. I guess we could technically put that through to at least earn some money. And this is what I didn't want. The problem with uh, doing something like this is we have dirt being built on the ground. So if I could just have a dump truck drop it off and not have to worry about that, that would be fine. It's not a big deal because I can simply just get out and tell it to vanish, please. But yeah, I don't... But yeah, obviously this is just wasting time and I'd rather not have to do this all the time. Ah, there we go. $1,000. So we do have some good dirt here. All right, but what this plan is truly for is solid rock. Now, I'm not certain, but I feel like this gray rock here might be the solid rock. It's said, though, that you can't mine solid rock without blasting it. So I don't think I have found solid rock yet. Again, we're kind of getting ahead of ourselves with this plant. The goal is to find solid rock. I don't know where it is, though. I'm just going to put this through the system to see what I get. But yeah, this is what we earn the most money on anyways. And we might earn a little bit more if there's a bit of solid rock in here. But yeah, as I said, uh, the game at least states that I cannot mine solid rock without either blasting it or using a ripper. So I doubt this is actual solid rock. Really hoping we can find some solid rock in the next episode and actually push it through the system to see if it's lucrative or not. Because uh, yeah, right now I'm just essentially making this process unnecessarily complex because I could legit just drop this dirt in there. I know that. I know people will say that in the chat. Uh, I'm just trying to get ahead right now, trying to set up a system for the future. All right, and I think that is it. What is the damage? It's not going to be much. I know that. Hey, that's way better than expected, honestly. So yeah, I was con I was consistent enough to uh, essentially have the system fully loaded for a few minutes there. But 17,000, honestly, that was... Not a lot, maybe 10, not, not, probably not even 10 scoops. And that was bad dirt. So I want to actually see, I know you can see in here what you sell. Okay, here it is. So it's just, I wish it told me more about what it's actually delivering. Again, it's just in tonnage. It doesn't actually break down what of each resource I sold. Regardless, uh, we have the plant set up. Uh, this was this was my goal this episode. The only thing I want I added to this is an easy way to just dump dirt here quickly and not overflow it like I was. Uh, so we can just bring dump trucks here from wherever we need to go to get ore and uh, have the system pretty much fully automated. Regardless, this is perfect. This is exactly what, what I wanted. I'm super happy with it. And yeah, we'll be keeping an eye out for updates for this game. It's definitely a lot more polished now. There's been a few small updates, much more easy to play, and I'm super excited to see where this game goes. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the wash plant build. As always, thanks for watching and liking, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.